Hello, this is Hawker Devine, and today we are going to be reading the Backrooms level, The Decay Zone, which I think was formerly level 232. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. The Decay Zone. Survival Difficulty. Class undetermined. Mysterious properties. Unknown information. Undocumented entities. Level 232 is the 203rd level of the backrooms. It was discovered in 2012. This has been and crossed out. Level 232 is a mansion that takes out late the 19th or 20th century architecture and furnishing. This has also been crossed out. The Decay Zone is a sub-level of the Blue Channel. It was discovered in 2012. The Decay Zone is a mansion that is progressively decaying away, formally given in the designation of Level 232. Description. Level 232 takes on the form of a mansion built around the late 19th slash early 20th century in Britain. Though there are the occasional facings, uh, these facings are all dressed in 19th century maid attire. There are kitchens, bedrooms, dining hall, halls, hallways, art galleries, and third rooms in each of these rooms are abundant amounts of supplies. Whether it be normal food or almond water. This has been crossed out, meaning it is no longer concerned. My phone just screamed at me about out storage space. We're not even two minutes in. I call it a phone instead of a computer. My bad. There is the, also the occasional room that seems slightly more decayed and abandoned and than the regular rooms. With notable cobwebs and a distinct lack of furniture, besides the occasional chair, table, empty bookshelf, or fireplace. And these rooms are no supplies, and there is an increase in entity count. Not only are there more facings, but there are also reports of hounds, the occasional lighter, and of course, an occasional sight of parasitic paint along the walls. This has been crossed out. Basically, auto, auto, uh, I'm going to keep on mentioning. Uh, a, I'm going to keep on reading the crossed out bits, but I'm going to mention that they were crossed out at the end of each paragraph that was crossed out. There are occasional windows in these rooms. These windows look out into a field with to, with the mining town in the distance. It is currently unknown if this is an exit or to another unknown level or just the second part of level two thirty two. This has been crossed out. As of a recent event, level 232 has been designated as the Decay Zone. The more decayed rooms that were mentioned in the original revision were in fact a sign of this level's decay. Now that a decay has spread to the entire level, an update has been made to accurately describe the level's new environment. First revision, the last sentence of this first paragraph has been crossed out. The decay zone takes on the form of an abandoned mansion. There's little to no furniture inside any of these rooms. The few pieces of furniture you may find include the occasional chair, table, a single stove, a cabinet, a wardrobe, a radiator, oh, and a radiator. The floor is made of medium brown wood and it's known to be creaky, in turn attracting entities and unwanted attention. There are a wide variety of entities that live on this level, examples being smilers, and hounds, and facelings. The, or they are usually, unusually passive. This sentence has been crossed out. Holes have, been appeared in, have appeared in the walls, revealing previously unknown stairways. Although it may seem that you can go infinitely up or down this level, the decay zone is actually comprised of only three floors, with the other floors leaving with them in themselves instead. Each floor of each level is more or less identical to each other, which can lead to confusion as to which floor you are actually on. However, there are a few key differences to each floor, which can help distinguish which one you're on. Floor 1 will never have staircases that could be found naturally, since they'll, only, since they'll usually be behind now broken walls. 
Floor 2 and 3 will have the occasional room where the floorboards have been ripped up. Jumping through these will, has been known to send you to the blue channel. Floor 1 has the remains of an old library. There are the remains of bookshelf. Hmm? Apparently, my camera has been turned off. I'll be back. We are back. That was a funny little hiccup, wasn't it? Anyway, floor th or two and three will have. Wait, oh, no. Floor one has the remains of an old library. These are the remains of bookshelves and bookcases that layer the area. These can and occasionally. I just was there. And these can actually have books themselves inside of them. It is believed that if all books were present, they'd form an image of a jigsaw piece outline. Yay, more editing. Floor 1 has the remains of an old library. There are easily the remains of bookshelves and bookcases that litter the area. And these can occasionally have books themselves inside of them. It is believed that if all books were so present, they'd form an image of a jigsaw piece outline. Floor 3 presents the only way to exit it to level negative 7 via door. Although exit is possible by breaking the windows on other levels, doing such is not advised, as since the fall leads to injury. On floor 1, you can find the occasional bloodstain or old, old MEG item around. This will most likely be the remains of the previous outpost or the explorers from before the shift. Second re revision. As of, uh, I'm gonna really show off my Americanness by saying July 10th, 2020, all MZ seem to have vanished from this level entirely. As well, the level has begun to display non-Euclidean properties. Staircases appearing to go up can take you down a floor or vice versa. Hallways that look long can take only a few seconds to go through, and rarely an anomalous shifting and to may occur of traveling down a hallway with a sloped roof. It's believed that this is the final stage of decay, but the level itself will eventually become entirely abstract. When this age happens, the level is theorized to become uninhabitable. As such, no new Omega outposts have been authorized to be set up. And the entirety of the decay zone is reset is set to be abandoned. What happened once the level decays entirely is unknown. With the amount of time I'm then estimated to be approximately four years. Basis, outposts and communities. MEG, MEG aka the Major Explorer Group, or MEG, servant workers. Small mag base comprised of 10 people. They reside in one of the bedrooms and a kitchen. They get their supplies given to them from level 101. The entire information about uh, Meg's egg space has been uh, and crossed out. There are no known basis communities or outposts on this level. The Shift. The Shift is the name of the event that moved this level from Designation 232 to a currently unknown designation. A surviving in camera showed all the lights to suddenly turn off within this level. Two minutes later, there was a rumbling noise as the level shifted as if it was moving to the left. Once it stopped moving, the level appeared to be suddenly shot upwards in space. The intense and sudden G-force crushed the furniture and turned the mag workers into nothing more than a pile of viscera. Once the level stopped moving, the lights remained off and various walls collapsed, leaving the level in its current state. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 232 can be accessed through a door on level 101, but it can also be accessed on level 125 in the third bedroom. This has been crossed out. 
The decay zone can be entered by finding an old mansion level negative 7, or by breaking light in, in level 0, or by trying to enter level 27. Exits. You can oftentimes find exit level 232 the exact same way you came in, but you can also exit to level 165 by a, a large door in, the, in a dining room. To exit the decay zone, you can find doors or break the windows into level negative 7. Alternatively, jumping down holes was in the floor or on the second floor, or it will take you to the blue channel. And that has been uh, what used to be level 232 and is now called the Decay Zone. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And yes, I had to edit this part on to the last part because my computer decided to stop recording again. This is after it decided to stop tracking, so... There's probably going to be more problems with future videos. Let's hope I can get a new computer. Right, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!